Hello my little acorn crop. We're live again from my hotel room. So today was the last day of HearstCon, well the last official day, and tomorrow's going to be the after party. And uh, of course, as always, it was really fun. Um, there was hearse racing. There was flaming cars, there was big pig, uh, I don't know if I got any video of the big pig. Oh wow. So it was a good time, a good time was had by all, I was thankful that I was able to drive out again this year. And important lesson when you're wearing big eyelashes the wind will just blow them in your face so it's almost like you have sunglasses on. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, everyone else probably knew that except for me. And let's see, I managed to get my eyebrows on, or my eyebrows, my eyelashes on without, um, without gluing my eyelids together. This is a first for me. So I think that was exciting. My hearse is running really well so far. Just got some footage of the band.
fire eater or eater, I don't know, fire spinner. But it was fun and I'm really glad I, came, I went. So today was the last day of HearseCon. Well, I guess um, it was the after party today and it was a really great relaxing time. Um, it was a little, it was a drive up to a more remote area going through the mountains and it was a really beautiful drive. So I'm on the road, hopelessly lost. Uh, I'm trying to find where we're supposed to meet up for the after party and can't seem to find it. But what I can say is I don't think I'd want to be lost in any prettier a place. It's just gorgeous here. whole weekend is just was really great um you know again a fantastic hearse con every personality kind of added to the mosaic of you know a fantastic weekend you know and and everybody um got to see these beautiful cars and anybody who admires them got to Got to see them up close and personal and see inside them. I mean, I had a lady yesterday come up to me and say, can I, can I see inside? And I was like, sure. Her open and the lady was like amazed at the casket and everything. And she was like, thank you. And, you know, and, and the cars, the hearses are really, they're really nice vehicles, you know, a beautiful, beautiful ride. You know, it's just like driving a sofa. And a lot of people don't understand why anyone would want a hearse, you know. Why would you want this death wagon? But it really is a beautiful vehicle to drive. You know, they're beautiful on the outside. They're really smooth and lovely to drive. I mean, definitely great road tripping cars, except for maybe the gas mileage <laughs> and the potential for breaking down. But any car has a potential to break down. So I had a great time and I'm looking forward to coming next year and I'm starting a list of all my wish list of things that I wish I had this year. So I forgot my car washing stuff so I couldn't actually wash my car. And you're like, why don't you go to a car wash? Well, I tried and GPS and Denver don't get along very well. And I couldn't actually find a drive through car for wash that was open and working. So my, my car is just fucking dirty and it sucks, but it's okay because a dirty hearse is just that much more creepy. If you have a hearse, I recommend that next June you get your ass out to Denver and go to hearse gone. Good night, America, wherever you are.